Wait. There's still a way to change this. If we return to an earlier point in time, we'll be able to save her. I understand. Chaos Control! Silver! I can handle this myself. Besides, you've got somewhere to go, right? You! I'll make sure to change Elisa's fate. And that, in turn, should change your future, too. Thank you, Silver. Yeah, just save her. I know how to save our world now. We don't have to change the past. I'm sure of it. So you have a plan? Well then let's hurry. I sense his flames. So now, Silver's final level is Flame Core. Yeah, you may have noticed that we didn't do Flame Core as Silver. <laughs> um, but now we have to hurry to Iblis again, but this time in Flame Core. Not much to it, I mean. So, let's just do it. Jesus, fuck these load times. <laughs> I'm coming, Iblis. Uh, but Flame Core for Silver isn't that much different than anything else you've been doing this whole time. I mean, it's just... 
same thing as usual. Assuming I can open this fucking door. I... Don't quote me on this. I do believe they took out the meteors that were raining down everywhere. Um, because Silver is so slow, he probably would have gotten hit by literally every meteor up, up available. Uh, again, don't quote me on that. Yeah, I might be right, because I haven't seen any meteors yet. Then again, that doesn't happen in this section, does it? I didn't see any back in the beginning section either, so... Well, once we start heading towards the volcano in the next bit, uh, I will be, be, be proven right or proven wrong. Knowing my luck, I'm being... I'm gonna be proven wrong. Like the second I get over there, I'm gonna get hit by a meteor. I fucking hate the fact that they track you. Basically, just smack that one on the ass. <laughs> hey, good game, buddy. Let's see if I was proven wrong. Yep, they're here. I see them. Stop, 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 stop. Almost fell for that mistake again. Shit. Okay, that 
That was the game. The game literally hit me with a fucking meteor right when I landed on something. Okay, that was my fault. I landed on a... F I landed right where a meteor hit me, and then, as this final screw you, the enemy was firing right when I landed. I'm dead. Okay, that one clearly didn't even fucking hit me. Actually, no, it didn't. Never mind. Okay, I gotta stop fucking doing that. That enemy is blatantly clipping through the gate, by the way. What I was trying to do, by the way, I was trying to get here so I can grab these five rings before I died. Uh, but the game said, screw you, and wanted to kill me instead. Oh yeah, well, let's have the slowest character run through this with meteors. Oh, I was about to say, I was about to get hit, wasn't I? But I'm calling BS on that first death. That was fucking bullshit. And when I got hit while in the middle of, of the spring section, that was bullshit too. Alright, we're almost done. Uh, so Silver's, um, flame, so Silver, he can actually grab the, um, light orbs and take it with him, um, but you don't have to if you don't want to, and also considering how easy it is to, I, honestly, I could see pretty easily with this in this game, so. Plus, Silver is technically his own light source. So yeah, unlike Shadow and Sonic, we're going uh, to this door, because uh, this door we did see as the other hedgehogs, but we ignored it because, well, there was no switch for it. Uh, what I, However, though, with Sonic's gems, I believe you can actually clip into this area. Um, and end up seeing and find that everything is rendered here. Like, like, at least in terms of, like, the base level geometry. Like, like, I don't think it's an actual, like, void like it was back in... Okay, the reason I'm going up here, by the way, is because I want this 10 rings. Because I, I, I was at zero. Oh yeah, for some reason, Mephilus' version of the Iblis monsters are here, um, which is interesting. I'm surprised Silver isn't commenting on that, but I guess Silver doesn't care, or he doesn't know. Also, I do believe you can throw the light source at enemies. 
Um, and it does some damage. But yeah, this is like one of the rare instances in the entire game where um, Silver goes a completely different route than the other hedgehogs. Um, which I... F fuck me! I'm dead. There's no way back up. At that point, you just make it a bombless pit and move on with your life, but... No, Sonic Team decided to torture us first. By the way, again, I will mention that that was my fault. I got reckless with my meter. I keep doing that. I don't know why I keep doing that. I, I think it's mainly... I think it's my instinct of, I want to get this game over with. So I'm just rushing instead of actually trying to be competent. Also, I think it's also a thing of, I don't really give a fuck anymore. But I better start giving a fuck once I get to um, the last story segment, because End of the World is a pain in the ass. Okay, this section. So this is something that's exclusive to Silver. This giant ball here is Iblis, and every now and then it's going to release a shockwave. You want to stand behind these things when it does. So when it lights up like that and releases a shockwave, that is your indicator that you need to stand up. You need to move on. You can move on. So my recommended strategy, since Silver is so slow in this game, in, the, in this version anyway, just stand here, wait for it to do its pulse like that, and then just move on to the next one. Um, in P06, oh shit, that scared me. Um, in P06, you can actually, like, basically rush this section and get all the way to the front with the Heart of Wind ability. But in base 06, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta observe patience. <laughs> but I do like this, but unfortunately the animation for Silver destroying the ball is very, very terrible in this game. In P06, it's kind of fucking badass because you see so, like you see a fraction of Silver's potential, and I really like it. And also in P06, you also get an upgrade if you had um if you got all S ranks in the game already. Nope, oh, that was okay. All right, that threw me off, so I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait it out. But you use your full power, you use your power on it like this. It destroys itself, but it's kind of anticlimactic. You know, in P06, Silver like flies up, fucking annihilates it with a psychokinesis with a silver metal. And it was pretty cool. It was something cool to look at, but in base 06, that's what it has to And then you gotta walk into this hall, and that's the end of the level. And that's it. That was terrible. I'll accept that. Alright, so now we have the final boss, and I'm praying to God that I actually do it well. Because uh, you technically have a time limit for the boss battle. Um, it's the final boss battle with Iblis. Um, I'll get into what Iblis will do when the battle starts. Because there's a cutscene right before. Iblis, this time I'll finally stop you! Alright. 
so this fight is somewhat similar to the original fight. Um, so you'll be constantly throwing projectiles at Iblis, but unlike the first fight, you're not breaking his armor down. But he'll be very, very far away from you at the beginning of the fight. And throughout the fight, he will do different attacks to try to, you know, kill you. One of them is a shockwave attack that he just demonstrated, where it'll be at three different levels and you just got to avoid it. And then he'll walk closer and then he'll throw, like, meteors or something at you and stuff like that. You need to make sure you kill Iblis within a few cycles, because eventually, if he gets too close, he'll destroy the foothold that you're currently standing on. And if that happens, you have to start all over. Like, you will eventually, if the whole foothold um, breaks, you will die. So you can throw the things, and you can hit him from any distance. So don't worry about that. You know, just pray to God the game's collision doesn't screw you over. Also, I don't recommend throwing meteors when the meteors are circling around him like that. Uh, because then you'll just end up destroying the meteors and not hitting him. He also has another attack where it's a giant projectile that can destroy the foothold from a distance. Uh, but when he destroys the foothold, he'll expose himself for another attack um, real quick. Um, when Blaze says now silver, fly over to him, use your psychokinesis on him, and then th that'll start the next phase. He'll walk all the way back to the beginning. And some meteors will spawn. And you can start you can hit him while he's backing up, which is good. But the thing is, is that you gotta pray that the game doesn't screw you with the collision detection. Um, especially for the me specifically for the meteors. But you do need to make sure you are hitting him with meteors. You can't just rely on that one that one thing to hit him. Uh, because if you do, you know, you'll you won't beat him. So just make sure you're constantly throwing meteors at him. Uh, I would recommend throwing one at a time and just making sure. Okay, now this. I think I'm close enough. Grab it, throw it back at him. And that will do a decent chunk of damage. And that's it. So yeah, he will try to... So yeah, he tries to destroy the foothold from a distance... Uh, just make sure you throw that back at him. That is the only time that Silver can grab something that is significantly bigger than him, by the way, besides the pendulum. Because uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the other thing about this game that uh, irritates me, is how inconsistent they are with Silver's powers. And that was one of those instances. Like, he couldn't grab the billiard ball back in Dusty Desert, but he can grab that. Expose himself. Fly over to him. Um, if you take too long to do that, he'll back up, or I think he'll I think he'll do a big attack and almost kill you. So uh, don't take too long. I think his final act is going to be to destroy the foothold from a distance uh, as a means to try to kill you. Yep. And... and there you go. That is a guarantee hit, by the way, so don't worry about missing that. I don't know if you can miss it, but if you can, that'd be very surprising.
By the way, that was relatively smooth. I don't think I, I, I didn't do anything wrong. That was actually really smooth. That's probably the smoothest final boss. Oh, fuck you! Ah, <laughs> oh, that should have been an ass. Ah, oh, That was smooth! Did I even get hit during that? That was a smooth boss battle. I did nothing wrong. That was smooth. I was proud of that. Eternal Sun! The living flame that has been entrusted to the royal family! Fall into slumber with my soul, Iblis! You cursed flames of disaster! Ah! No! Why won't it accept me as the vessel? Flames! I'll take Iblis. Don't worry. My soul is already alit with flames. I will be accepted. Come on! Make it quick! Use your chaos control to stop time! Then, seal us into a different dimension! No! I can't do that to you! Didn't we already go through this? We agreed to save the world at any price! What to do? Without you, you fought alongside me to save the world. You're my friend, right? You're still so naive. But I... I've always liked that about you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Blaze just died. <laughs> By the way, I love Silver's theme, Dreams of an Absolution. Um, really good theme. Anyway, that's the end of Silver's story. I mean, whew, boy, that was a bit... Honestly, that was smoother than I thought it was going to go. Um, I don't know how else to word this. Like, yeah, I had a few dumbass deaths like that one back in Kingdom Valley. But overall, it was much smoother than I thought it was going to go. I thought Silver was going to be the worst of the, of the three. I mean, yes, Silver's story is the worst in terms of gameplay because of just the simple fact that Silver can be seen as borderline unplayable. But, you know, he's slow, his combat method is stupid, it's, you know... It, my main, like, in terms of defeating enemies, it's really fun. Like, the idea is there. But, you know, excuse me, due to how this game was released with its collision detection all out of whack and all that kind of stuff, I feel that Silver just doesn't meet his true potential in this game in terms of what he can do. And, again, I will 100% keep mentioning PO6 and how well it did to make Silver much better. You know, for one, Silver does a spin jump and allows you to hit enemies with um, just a standard jump attack rather than, you know, Psychokinesis if that's not an option, if you don't feel like doing Psychokinesis. You know, the game gives you 
P06 gives you options on how to defeat enemies. It makes the psychokinesis somewhat better in terms of collision. Like, whenever you throw an item, there isn't the random chance that it'll just go flying into a different fucking direction than you intended. Um, Silver's Flight, you know, was, you know, Silver's Flight, you don't have to mash the X button as much to make the... In fact, they actually nerfed that. Um, you don't mash the X button to get more distance. You know, his abilities somewhat are more useful besides the um, his stomp. But, like, you know, his Heart of Wind, very useful in P06. You know, and they, they even gave him some other upgrades that aren't in this game, but I don't feel like going in depth with them. Like, I do think that Silver deserved a little bit more, like... It's one of those things where if 06 just had a little more time to cook and wasn't rushed out the door to celebrate Sonic's 15th anniversary, I think that 06 would have been perf would have been much better than what it was. I'm not going to say perfect because honestly the story is still ass, but you know, most people, you know, a lot of people don't play Sonic games for the story, you know. They play Sonic games to have fun with, you know, high speed platforming and if sonic 06 could do that at the at the very least then no one would have even cared about the story but unfortunately 06 was just rushed out i know i'm kind of sounding like i'm getting into my final thoughts when i haven't even done the last story yet uh yes that is the next time we meet for sonic 06 because i'm actually going to take a bit of a break i was going to do the last story in this session but i'm kind of tired of I kind of, I'm kind of tired. I kind of want to go to sleep. I've been kind of up all day. I've been up all day. It's my it's my one of two days. I only get two days off because, you know, standard. You know, I only work five days a week, and I work retail. So I kind of want to take the rest of the night off and kind of just lay down for a few hours before I kind of want to lay down and go to sleep. And plus, I've been up all day playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Um, because I fucking love that game right now. I'm only like a few hours, I'm only a couple hours in, but I really love what I'm playing so far. I promise I will not do the same exact thing I did with Persona 3 Reload and end up forgetting to record. And end up getting COVID the week after I finish. <laughs> no, like legit though, that was the worst part. Was I finished Reload on the night before I started showing symptoms of COVID. Like, that, that was the worst thing. And then, like, you know, I got to the weekend, and I was somewhat better on Saturday. Like, I was not as, like, you know, I wasn't I wasn't dying. Because, like, my my experience with COVID was kind of interesting. Like, the, f like the first day was Tuesday, and I was, like, I could not stand for longer than 10 seconds without nearly falling over or throwing up. And then, like, Tuesday... I mean, not Tuesday, Wednesday through um, Friday kind of felt like the flu. You know, I just had, like, some sinus, like, I had some sinus problems and coughing a lot. And then Saturday, I kind of felt pretty much in the middle. Like, I I kind of felt like crap, but I could still breathe somewhat. And then s Sunday, I could, you know, breathe. And then Monday, I went back to work. And then Tuesday, I went back to work. Um... And then, you know, throughout the week of working, I still kind of had, like, a stuffed nose and a bit of a cough. But, um, I've been much better. But, you know, I, was, I felt much better. And then now this week, I kind of feel like I'm sort of back to, you know, fighting speed. I'm sort of, you know, <laughs> I guess that's the way to phrase it. I'm kind of back in fighting spirit. I mean, I've coughed a few times throughout this, but usually it was because I was talking too much or I got into... I just needed a drink. Like, I'm still coughing every now and then, and I do kind of have a stuffed nose occasionally. Like, you know, especially when I'm laying down. But I always get that when I'm when I'm laying down. I've always gotten that. I need to look into that because it kind of sucks. I think I have, like, a nasal problem I need to figure out. But, eh. Going to a doctor is expensive. <laughs> uh, going to a doctor is expensive. But saying it is what it is to everything is free. Anyway, uh, enough talking about my health. No one cares about that. <laughs> um, I'm going to skip the credits now since it's just playing His World. As much as I love His World, I don't want to hear it again. Um, 
But that is it for this session of Sonic 06. I think I've about three hours in. I think that's all of my sessions so far. So the next time we meet in Sonic the Hedgehog 2006, we will be doing the last episode, which is not long. It only has one level, which is kind of a stupid level, and one boss, which is the final boss. Uh, but, oh, the last story is going to be fun. I will keep you guys in suspense, though. Um, I mean... I still gotta do the entire silver section. I gotta, I gotta finish up the shadow in terms of uploads, and then I gotta do all of silver. So it's gonna be a couple weeks, I, I want, I'd wager. But I will see you guys next time for Sonic the Hedgehog 2006 with the last story. Thank you guys very much for watching, and take care. <laughs>